Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ, and anybody else who runs across this video. Um, this is still Tuesday, March the 24th, and it is 5.43. Almost time for dinner, buddy. Aww. How cute. He's laying on his back with his paws like this. I just gave him some pain medicine. Somebody implied I shouldn't let him suffer. Well, if medicine helps him until he heals. Anyway, moving on. This is a letter from Dawn. And every one of these sounds so right for us right now. And I said, Lord, you know, I don't normally share all these, and I don't ever want to pass on something that people are saying is from the Lord if it's not, which is why we all need to keep asking for more discernment. If you don't believe it's from the Lord, just, just don't pay any attention to it. But I believe these just sound so timely. And I'm going to go ahead and share them. And you take them to the Lord. Do with them what you will. Okay? Let's just say it that way. The first one. I actually saved this on my desktop. To remind myself to do this. It's Small Straws in, in a Soft Wind. By Marsha Burns. That's what she titles all of her messages. Take your time in being thorough. Thoughtful diligence will bring good results, says the Lord. These are days to deliberately seek my face in order to receive divine instruction. I will give you the knowledge necessary to make good judgments. Be strong and unwavering. The scripture she put with it is Proverbs 4 13. Take firm hold of instruction. <coughs> Do not let go. Keep it for it is your life. Okay. The next one which I don't normally share Doug Addison's because, you know, like I was saying before, some of us do just get a little word, like uh, like Marcus, when he got, um, well, it said, this is your Lord and Savior, and he wanted confirmation, and he was given Jeremiah too, I think, or I'd have been a different one then. Anyway, it led to me helping him determine what does that mean and I read the scriptures and ended up making a video out of it and it was very timely and a good message so the Lord doesn't always do like with Cameron you know his are pretty clear that God says this is like when I would get messages, this is your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I died and rose again. And, you know, somewhere in the message he would throw in, I am that I am. This is your Lord and Savior. You can trust that it is me. Things like that. Because he knew I needed that. But anyway, let me move on. This one's from Doug Addison. And he got this, taking time to worship and sing in the Spirit will open the heavens. Have y'all ever sang in the Spirit? When I, when I do that, it is so uplifting. And I don't do it all the time, but I find that when I pray more and pray in the Spirit more, I just start singing. I it when you're in a especially if you're in a joyful mood, if you let yourself just forget about all the problems 
that are going on and anything else in your life going on just forget about it for a while leave it with the Lord like I told you before cast your cares upon him for he cares for you and just pray and praise him and worship him and if you can pray in the spirit and if if you you may just have to ask the Lord help me to sing in the spirit and I don't the tunes are not familiar notes like I'm not singing spiritual words to an other song that I know it's a tune I've never heard before and it sounds beautiful and it's just wonderful if you can do that do that okay moving on uh, there are several this is um, another one it's from Bev Robinson there are several people around you who are really tired now I think in our case it's several people on my channel who are really tired the circumstances they have been going through have been very demanding emotionally mentally and physically can anybody say amen what you need to do is pray you are you are also tired I mean, this is like he could have ever said this to me hide yourself in me and draw strength from me pray for those you know who need rest there is rest just ahead don't let your emotions run away with you keep them under control you need to be an example now wow now here's the scripture she gave from the NASB John 14 27 peace I leave with you my peace I give to you not as the world gives do I give to you do not let your heart be troubled nor let it be fearful okay again that's Bev Robinson now this one is March 24th I guess these are all March 24th it came in this morning at 6 53 a.m. okay with so many people experiencing hardships it is it's essential for my church to accurately build an effective infrastructure this will help accommodate the needs people are experiencing apps like zoom refuel and Kevin is who got this added because it's in parentheses YouTube and right now media think God doesn't know about the medias of course he does can be used to help facilitate meetings while lockdowns are being implemented small cell or life groups are and will be a key element to use now and in the future how do you get a message like this to all the people that need to hear it the harvest will be white as snow discipleship is essential to ensure proper growth and development yep sure is I had none when I first got born again because I got saved at a David Wilkerson crusade and I was Catholic so I didn't have a church to help me grow I I just knew I was 
born again and changed and wanted out of the Catholic Church and I didn't go on Sunday morning anymore but I did finish out going on Saturdays to help with the second graders to make their first communion because it was a commitment to help the teacher and I even back then felt you know if you make a commitment you should fulfill it but anyway um, discipleship is essential especially for new believers they have questions they read the Bible and they don't if they're all alone have nobody they need somewhere to turn for their questions and that is what my email is supposed to be for you asking me questions and I do appreciate people sending me uh, videos but not so many I get too too many oh sorry my nose is itching we're not supposed to scratch our noses or our faces I can't help it I, I use my knuckles to touch the elevator uh, and nobody gets through the door without hand sanitizer so I don't feel I, I ain't worried about it I'm just not worried about it okay so decide okay so I finished that now here's the verse that goes with it 1 Corinthians 3 9 to 11 it's the ESV English Standard Version for we are God's fellow workers you are God's field God's building according to the grace of God given to me like a skilled master builder I laid a foundation and someone else is building upon it let each one take care how he builds upon it for no one can lay a foundation other than that which is laid which is Jesus Christ and I uh, again it's Kevin Robinson the last one is uh, from again March 24th and it says pay attention I say again pay attention things are happening that demand your focus and attention not making yourself aware of them could put you or someone else at risk as you become aware of what is transpiring around you ask me to show you your course of action I have the answer and I have and always used the prophets to speak to the world there is no need to fear if you listen and heed and his scripture is Luke 24 25 from the NASB that's chapter 24 verse 25 and he said to them O foolish men and slow of heart to believe in all that the prophets have spoken and that was given to Jonas Bolin. Okay, so that was Dawn's whole entire letter for today. And I pray that it, it has helped you at least one of the messages. They all speak to me in a, in a way that tells me, you know, things I got to do better, things I'm doing right, things we have to keep doing. We have to know what's going on so we can ask the Lord, what do I do about this? What do I do about that? And for the most part, you put your trust in the Lord. Let's see, how's it go? Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will direct your path. That's the one I said yesterday. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. All right. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and all these prophecies. 
and I pray that you will just take them to the Lord or take them as good advice whether they came out of their mind from the mind of Christ you see people that pray a lot and listen for the Lord will hear from him we can hear from him I know I need to be in more prayer probably fast more than one day a week but if you stay in the word and I need to be in the word more <laughs> I just I, 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 I'm like I can't do it all and I feel like maybe I'm not, I don't know I pray about it and I'm doing the best I can I think the Lord knows that and I'm sorry if I put a, a that snippet of a video I shared Steve Fletcher's video he used a snippet of a video okay where the man said if you're hoarding we're coming after you okay well apparently Tessa sent me a link to the entire speech if it was long and I clicked on it I probably said oh I'm not listening to this because see I don't pay attention to the mainstream media and it probably had that whole thing in it someone corrected me and said that I shouldn't have put that up there because he was talking about companies supposedly now y'all correct me if I'm not saying it right if you saw the whole speech was he talking about companies that were hoarding only gowns and masks? Is that what he said? Not toilet paper and hand sanitizer and all that. That's the way I understood what that one commenter said. If so, I apologize. For putting any fear into anybody that has packed up their storage area with lots of stuff. Because they did tell us to prepare. They told us to, to prepare and have on hand so much water per person. So much, well they didn't say how much toilet paper. But you know how much toilet paper you need per person and how much you go through it. And if you stocked up for six eight weeks you did good you know we don't know how long we're gonna uh, I, I don't know that you know maybe that is what they were talking about people maybe how how does a company why would a company so they could keep working and not worry about giving each other the flu maybe perhaps that's possible anyway they just need to hurry up and make some more they shouldn't be having China make everything that's the United States' fault sending all the factories overseas we should have kept them right here kept our own people employed so what if it costs a little more you have to pay tariff to import that stuff. I mean, seriously. I know you, you get pennies on the dollar for stuff, but then you add tariffs. It's, it's not. Yeah, it's profitable. But it shouldn't be that way. We should make all the important stuff right here in America. Let them make the knickknacks some of the clothing that's what I say that's my opinion okay so I plead the blood of Jesus over this video the internet connection and over myself and my computer and over each and every one of you your devices and your internet connections so we can stay connected until we're out of here okay bye for now I'll talk to you later